Rural communities don't get a lot of notice, but they have a different yet the same struggles as your town. All these things the three mayors I spoke with are working to change while making history. Arkansas is full of many black elected officials across the state, some of which you might have already heard of. Aldi is another job creator. Little Rock Mayor Frank Scott Jr. So I wanted to have civil council meetings. And Pine Bluff Mayor Shirley Washington. But for many other rural mayors around the state, while their struggles may be similar, some of their journeys are polar opposite. Take Riceville Mayor Derek Rainey, a 37-year-old who won his first election in a runoff in 2022. That's what. I ran for because I want to see Wrightsville be better as its own identity, um, but to reimagine what that can look like. For Elaine Mayor Lisa Hicks Gilbert, she understood in order to affect change, she had to get a seat at the table. It was critical that there be change here in Elaine and not just in Elaine, throughout Phillips County. And I felt that if I wanted some things to change, I had to be in a position um, here in the county to help make those things happen. Earl Mayor Jalen Smith is still considered to be the youngest mayor in the country at 20 years old, two years after winning his election. It's a bit of an inspiration not only to myself but to other people around the country of how um, you could do it at such a young age because people say, well, you're too young, do this. So it really doesn't matter by age. All three mayors say they have a desire to improve roads, boost economic development, and keep their community engaged. With the population at 2,000 or less, money is tight, and staff is nearly at zero. Sometimes we have to play as our police chief, sometimes we have to play as our fire chief, our water manager, and I see the attorney, so it's, we're, it's, we're a lot of hats, so we're being pulled in so many different directions. Gilbert says they are on the verge of a water crisis. She says her system is 65 years old. Our wells are so old, they don't even make them anymore. Our, everything has to be rebuilt. It is dilapidated, it's rusting, it has holes in it. It needs to be cleaned, it needs to be repainted. Rainey says with so many projects going on in Pulaski County, they hope to get involved. At times he believes they're often overlooked. There's some large projects that are happening around us. And for the honest truth, we haven't been a part of those conversations. Gilbert says as the first black mayor in Elaine's history, moving the city forward hasn't been easy. She's a descendant of the Elaine Massacre. In 1919, black sharecroppers gathered at a small church, upset over unfair wages. Gilbert says white plantation owners and sheriffs arrived. A shootout started, turning into a three-day massacre, leaving nearly a thousand black men, women and children dead. That massacre left uh, general, not just, you know, transgenerational trauma, but it also left generational poverty. We're still feeling the effects of today. Rainey says as the city's youngest elected mayor, he's optimistic that reopening their gym, hiring more staff and establishing code enforcement will be the spark Wrightsville needs to prepare for a brighter future. Now we have to actually put those things to action through a strategic plan so we can look at the next 25, 50 years. People plan for us, but when are we going to plan for ourselves? Smith says he's working on starting more youth programs and rehabbing their city parks. Because our four parks probably within $4 million of worth of work, work because it goes back to the past leadership that didn't really care for the community. Each mayor says they hope to leave a lasting legacy, not only for future leaders, but some who are closest to their hearts. Smith. Gilbert and Rainey tell me they have accomplished a few things so far, but they believe they have a long way to go before completing their first term as mayor. On your side, Desmond Nugent.